Hey guys, Jalabi here, and welcome for another Warm Online tutorial. And in this episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to heal yourself when you hurt yourself exploring, hunting, or carelessly walking yourself into a thorn bush. So, as you can see on my health bar, I'm hurting myself. And if I go to my. If I open up my body stats do open up my legs I bruise my left foot um, there's two ways to bandage yourself it's either with cotton or rags which are leftover materials if you're a cloth tailor um, so whichever is more efficient for you or easier for you to obtain uh, or if you have excess of, you probably most likely will have rags as an excess. Rags are common and easy to obtain if you are a cloth tailor. So I'm just going to get a couple of rags here. Combine them. And heal myself. Now there are four stages of damage on your body. There's a light wound, a bruise, uh, a medium wound, which I have, a bad wound, and a severe wound. Severe wound will be like damage 60 plus, and a bad wound would be anything over 25, 25 damage, no 30 damage, and a medium wound will be anything over 15 damage. Now this will regulate your first aid skill, which I have not done yet, so I'm going to try to heal myself with this rags. As usual, the higher the quality, the better success of you successfully healing, and the more likely you'll heal more of the value, the damage value. Medium bad and severe wound won't heal it themselves but a light wound will heal itself over time anything less than 15 damage will heal yourself so as you can see i'm gonna try to heal myself heal myself with the rags and cure this bruise Uh, in the early beginning, stealing might take a lot of failures, but as you're healing, your first aid skill goes up. The less fails you experience healing. So you can see I failed, so I'm gonna try to kill a couple more. And see how it goes. And there you go. The 16 damage wound now became 9 damage and now it's a light wound. And this is now a, a status bandage. You can only bandage a wound once. So as you can see, it's now a light and it will heal itself over time. You cannot... You cannot bandage it again because it's already bandaged but you can however as you can see already bandaged you can however put a healing cover on it to increase its healing rate but you really want to save your healing covers when you actually do need it on a medium bad or severe wounds so I'm gonna damage myself real quick again and show you how to heal yourself with cotton now, if you're in, a, if you're just starting out, and you don't have any cotton and a farm, and you're in dire need of healing yourself, you can try to forage some cotton, and hope to get lucky. But this all depends on luck. 
on getting cotton. But in the end, you also get other stuff. But if you're dying and you would need to forage, um, it might be best to request help from your neighbors or if there's anybody in your local, because most likely they will have cotton to heal you. Okay, so as you can see, my friend here has got himself hurt, so I'm gonna show you how to heal him with your cotton or rags. I'm gonna grab a cotton here also, just so you guys know that I can heal people with cotton. It's a higher quality, so I'll less likely fail. So to heal someone, all you gotta do is right click on their, on their body, look at their equipment, and just open up certain body parts that need healing. I'm just gonna expand all to make it easier. Uh, light wounds will heal over time, but if you don't want to wait for it, you can bandage them if you have extra cotton or rags lying around. So all you do is just like how I healed my own body. I'm just gonna heal his wounds right here. He has some holes. First aid. He has some cuts and holes. Nothing too major. And as you can see, light wounds will take about 0.10 kilograms of healing material on your rags or cotton. Medium would be 0.2, bad would be 0.3, and severe would be 0.4. Now if a severe or bad wound is really high and your first aid is really bad, there is a chance that you could make the wound worse and the damage will increase. So keep that in mind. <laughs> if you keep failing and you keep hurting the person, they're just gonna end up dying. As you because as um as anything medium or higher wounds will get worse over time if it's left untreated. As you can see, we're slowly healing him. Just gotta bandage this 15 damage medium wound and that should bring it back down to light wounds. I would prefer to uh, to bandage myself in cotton but if you have lots of rags nothing hurt to just use rags also since that's the only thing you can pretty much use them for. Oh and also in a pinch any cloth items or materials like let's say you have cloth armor you can al also use those to heal your wounds in a pinch to save your life but again once you bandage them up with your cloth material like a sail or a uh, cloth armor then that armor would be destroyed and used as a bandage Oh, not enough cover, so let's go use this. We'll use the rags. And now uh, all he has to do is wait for these very lights or light wounds to heal over time. And it'll be back in tip top shape. As of uh, till you have your damage healed, that the damage percentage will be taken away from your stamina bar, so uh, with my bruise at 9 damage, 9% of my stamina is not available for use. So technically, I'm only at 92% health. Or 90% stamina that I can use. Which can slow you down in a way of if you're crafting or grinding skills. So keep that in mind. An average person will usually get a healing tick every 10 minutes, but as your skill gets up, your healing tick should increase, and you can you'll probably more heal more per tick. And it also doesn't hurt to have high nutrition. Also, as you can see, my nine per my nine damage healed by almost six points. And there you go. Now all his wounds are healed.
there are other ways to also heal your friend and I'm gonna show you next okay so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make healing covers um, the easiest way to make healing cover is going near guard tower and finding dead bodies that people killed or the guards have killed as this and see if there's any leftover body parts in it as you can see a wolf paw is in this one so you take the wolf paw you know, I was also thinking, suggest taking animal fat as they can be used to make healing salve which I'll show you how to make later so you just need body parts animal body parts to make yourself some healing covers for quick and easy ones you can see someone killed this hellhound and see what it left me nothing and let's see what we got. I got a paw another paw and a gland Okay, this should be enough to make myself some healing covers. But just in case, there's some unbutchered stuff animals here. So to butcher an animal, you, you need any blade weapon. So you can butcher an animal with a stone stone chisel if you want, or even with your weapon sword. But to get the maximum amount. You need a butchering knife as you'll get no penalty and you'll most likely get more parts out of an animal. So if you butcher an animal with a butchering knife, you yield more compared to using any other blade material. But if you're in a pinch and you forgot to bring your butcher knife, you can use your trowel, your shovel, your weapon, your pickaxe, and what, or whatever higher quality you have to get some parts. As you can see, I f on your event window, I'll tell you if you failed to make some parts. I got more fat and meat, which I don't really need. And I'm going to butcher this dead spider in hopes to get a tooth. But if not, and then we'll just go ahead and make ourselves with whatever parts we have now. Okay. So now, you need. To make a healing cover with animal parts, you need two different body parts. You can't do it with the paws, they're, since they're the same, they're paw. It doesn't matter if they're from different animals. You need two different body parts. So if you save a paw on a tail, a paw and like what we have is a gland. So we're gonna go mix. So with the paw, you right activate one of the body part and right click on a different body part and you just mix. We make ourselves some healing covers. Usually each body part has enough to make and create two healing two to three to four healing covers. So we'll just wait on that. So you can see I failed to make a healing cover, so that's gonna consume it. So in the very beginnings, you know, most likely fail a lot on healing covers. So if you're an active hunter, then you'll get lots of healing covers from all the body parts that you hunted from. So I'm going to use up the last part of this paw and gland in hopes that we can make ourselves some healing covers. See if we can make a second one, and we failed. Let's see if this hellhound will net us a good healing cover material. Hopefully, it won't be another paw. And nothing. Well, with this one healing cover, we can go ahead and kill someone. Well, you can also apply this on my bruise. Oops. Activate the healing cover. If you want to apply a healing cover, 
just put it and treat. Now, a healing cover will have healing strengths. If you examine the healing cover, it will be good against wounds. So it will be good against this healing cover. It will be good against medium wounds. You know, to treat a uh, bad wound, you would need a stronger cover. But when you want to he heal and treat a uh, severe wound, you would need a, the maximum potency, which will be a supreme healing cover when you examine it right here. Instead of saying good against wound, it will be a supreme against wounds. Now, to make, if you have a lot of body parts, to make the best healing cover, you would need to. Uh, Combine a tooth and gland. A tooth and gland will make an, a supreme healing cover and it will also be very light. So it won't bog you down if you have a lot of it. Now, another way to make healing covers is by foraging. You can forage some herbs. Hey, hey, over here. Over here. Forage and botanize yourself some herbs and grass tiles. And make yourself some healing covers from those. Now this is excellent if you're in the woods and hunting and you ran out of healing cover. And it will do you in a pinch. So I think with my parsley I can make myself. Nope, I cannot. So you just gotta find yourself some herbs like lovage and some other material will make pretty decent healing cover. Most bot um, forage and botanize healing covers are won't make you that much of strong healing cover. So keep that in mind. Most the best materials are usually from hunted body parts of dead animals. So as you can see healing and alchemy. Alchemy is from creating of Healing covers and first edges you see healing other people. So let's just keep going. As you can see, this rule does take a while if you're doing this the hard way by foraging for materials. carry any lingonberries with me. So I'm just gonna drop them for now and pick them up later. As you can see, I can make myself a healing cover by by using a uh, parsley and sage. So let's see if we can successfully make ourselves a healing cover with this materials. And I fail and I lose all those materials. But you guys get the gist. You can make yourself healing covers by foraging and botanizing grass or step tiles. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to make a healing salve. A healing salve is good for burns and bruises. Or any special god damage that will inflict like disease or rotten touch. So make yourself a healing salve. 
we would need a garlic and animal fat. So I'm gonna grab myself a couple of garlics. And with the old animal fat that I was saving, I would just activate the fat, right click on the garlic, and create yourself a farmer self. Farmer self is very light, so I would recommend having some just in case. You take some falling damage or fire damage from a lava fiend or lava spider. Or when you do end up fighting a, fighting a, a troll, they will give you bruise damage from their, from their huge club. Um, so I will keep a couple of units of healing uh, farmer salve with you. Since they're very light. And then you can also combine them if you make multiple. They're easy to make if you have a big farm, and fat is abundant if you're just killing animals or dead things around your deed. Just make a couple. And also, while we're waiting, you can also use. farming products to make healing covers. You can use wheat and corn, corn and garlic to make some healing covers. But they won't make strong healing covers but they will be enough to cure medium medium wounds. So keep that in mind if you have lots of farming products like corn. Corn or wheat you can grind or train, level up your alchemy by making these materials and making yourself low end healing covers. As you can see, I made myself some healing covers. You see, it'll be supreme against wounds from tooth and gland of animal parts. I'm just gonna combine these to save up inventory space. Put the time in there. Oops. Put the time and garlic back in the food storage bin. And you can store animal fat inside bulk storage bin. So that's pretty handy. And now with all these healing materials in our hands, I'm going to show you how to apply it on a wounded person. Okay, welcome back. And now, I'm going to show you how to use all these materials that I taught you how to make and on to healing somebody. So, my friend here has got himself near death. So I'm going to go look, equipment, and see what damage he has. So yes, bruises. Lots of bruises and a hole. So I'm gonna heal up his bruises with by using my farmer salve. Oh, they've already been bandaged. I'll do this one. Farmer salve is very handy for bruises. Take mall damage from a troll or a person or just random falls that you took damage from. Grammar salts are easy to make and very light. So you can see this bruise is almost a bad. Well, most likely I'm not gonna be able to drop this down too light. So I'm gonna need to put on a healing cover on it. Just gonna just first aid this. For you guys. You can see I'm getting some pretty decent first aid skill very on. And there we go. Cured some points off it. Now I'm gonna try see if I can drop this 
I'll try to use my cotton for you guys to see how show you guys how much it uses As you can see I successfully bandaged it but it's still a medium moon and it only dropped by 6 points so now I need to heal it with a healing cover if I, I don't put a healing cover on this then it's gonna slowly get worse till this person dies so, just put on a healing cover on it. You can still fail on a healing cover, and it will use up a cover on failure also. So, you may need a lot if you have a low, low skill, and your healing cover quality is not that great. So, I am using supreme cover so it'll definitely be strong enough to treat this bruise as you can see I failed to treat the wound now if you put in a weaker cover for a wound and the wound is not sufficient enough that's when you do a, a healing take it takes damage you can replace it with another cover a stronger cover so all you gotta do is just, if there's already a cover on it you can just put on a, a stronger cover over it and it'll, and it'll let you only bandaging is only a one time thing as you can see I treated the wound so I'm gonna cancel this action and as you can see it's bandaged and treated so with that means it's gonna it's it's gonna heal itself over time and with the healing cover it's not gonna boost its healing tick for 10 minutes or less depending on your regeneration nutrition also plays a factor on your healing amount so keep that in mind and try to keep that up in a high level of nutrition to get a faster healing recovery so I'm just gonna bandage this medium wound right here and my friend here should be in tip top shape as you can see his light wounds is now gone as he got a healing tick and voila you now successfully healed the person back to life as you can see he's only wounded he's not bleeding or dying and in a couple of minutes maybe in half hour or less he should be back in full health and ready to do whatever he wants to do so that should conclude this tutorial for first aid. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like and the subscribe button so that you can see my future videos for Warm Online Tutorial. Jollibee here and I'll see you guys later.